we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Welcome back to a brand new video I hope you guys are doing well It's a Tuesday A little bit different for me to upload on a Tuesday I know regular viewers will know that I upload Typically Wednesdays and Sundays But with the Christmas period in full force. There's always so much more content opportunity for me to get, so I do tend to throw in a few bonus uploads, switch up the schedule a little bit. So if you just don't wanna miss out, the best thing to do is just be subscribed and also hit the notification bell because then you actually get notified once I upload a video. So this week is prime example, uploading today, and I'm gonna upload Thursday and Sunday as well. So it's kind of a bit of a vlog week. So those of you that like the vlogs, then hopefully you're gonna really enjoy it this week's content. Today I'm going to start with kind of a prepping for Christmas type vlog. I have a couple of bits to share with you with the house, but also I might go to some garden centers. I mean, vlogging, we never know where it's gonna take us. So we'll see what happens, but I have plenty of organizing I need to do, getting the Christmas decorations out, giving the place a bit of a tidy and spruce before Bruce the Spruce is back. And we have a new Bruce the Spruce this year. And then on Thursday, I'm gonna do a dedicated house moving vlog, house updates vlog that has been filmed over a longer period of time of getting things built and organized and set up and what's new in, kind of a few haul bits, home haul type things. And then on Sunday, we're gonna be decorating the house for Christmas. So I've already walked the dog this morning, I've got showered, feeling fresh. When I am at home, I do tend to live in loungewear, so that leads us nicely onto a little lounge haul that we have for today's sponsor. Lounge has very kindly chosen to partner up with me on this video. And what's more, we have Black Friday sales. I feel like I'm dressed appropriately. The bag is appropriate with the whole black theme. It is Black Friday. That means sales are to be had, discounts to be had. Great time for buying Christmas presents if you haven't started your shopping already. Maybe there's a couple of things in this haul section that you might see for your loved one. Otherwise, check out the website. They have some amazing discounts on and are well worth shopping at this time of the year when you can grab yourself a bargain. I will leave a direct link should you wish to shop anything in the description box below. All discount codes are off. So the way that you save discount is simply by shopping through that link and then you can see all the savings that are on their website. Now the Black Friday sales actually started yesterday so they are already live. There's up to 70% off and if you are not already aware, lounge underwear also have the apparel section. So if like me, like I was saying, loungewear, got to be comfy in these kind of videos, I have two sets to share with you from the apparel section and two underwear sets. I tend to wear a lot of the basics from lounge underwear, but obviously they have the intimates range, some lacy numbers, some sexy numbers. They have bodysuits now as well, which I've got my eyes peeled on. So yeah, I'm just gonna jump into sharing with you the items that I did pick up. The first item that I picked up are this set of kind of ribbed, high-waisted, plain black, again, Black Friday, we're on theme. These I picked up in a medium. They're a nice, thick, comfy, but really stretchy, because obviously, you wanna be comfy, they have gotta be stretchy. I have the exact prices in front of me so that you can 
find out how much you can save. You can save 25% off with the ribbed crop top and flared trousers set, the original price is £45. You can get them on the sale for £33.75. They also come in oatmeal smoked blue, which is a really nice kind of grey blue colour, and charcoal. They size from extra small to extra large. I love that everything comes individually wrapped, made from 100% recycled plastic. This is the ribbed crop top that comes with the matching pants. Now, I did actually size up to this in a large. It looks kind of small, but it's deceivingly stretchy. Look how much it stretches. But nevertheless, I do like to wear really comfortable loungewear. So the trousers, I feel like I needed a medium to be able to fit around my waist. But this crop top, yeah, decided to size up to a large in that one. Now, the other apparel set that I picked up is yet again rib. This rib actually has almost a subtle kind of cable knit rib i love the kind of lounge detailing along the waist it is a tie waist as well which is fab because you can really cinch in the waist should you need to so i got a medium in these and then the matching top that comes with it this one has a thicker strap and it's also a little bit longer the top in this set again i got in a large and it has that lounge detailing around the waist bit as well so this is in olive but it does come in mink as well and with this set you're saving 25 percent with the original price of 55 pounds takes it down to 41 pounds 25 pence and again these are available in sizes extra small right up to extra large get your hands on these quick i feel like loungewear is such a lovely gift for someone so the two underwear sets that i got so i'm going to show you this one first now this is in fact both of these are new sets that i've never tried before and this first one comes in the cream bear and it's a thong as you can see it's kind of like that boyfriend style with the ribbed detailing and then the bra is a bit more coverage than a box standard kind of triangle bra that I have from lounge. It's just got that kind of cut detail without it being wired because you know I'm a fan of the comfort when it comes to my underwear. The bottoms I've got in a medium and the bra is in 834C. So this set comes in black, white, cream and grey. The bra sizes range from 30A up to 38G and then the bottoms are sized from extra small to extra extra large. And with this set you are saving 30% taking the original price from £40 down to just 2 28 but the biggest bargain i've saved until last and actually of all the things that i have featured this is the one that i would recommend getting your hands on quick this is 60 percent off it is a gorgeous everyday set it's a ribbed super super soft very stretchy again it's got this gorgeous cut out detailing here on the front and on the back as well and the racer back just allows for me to wear a vest like i've got my little in fact let me see if it's in here yeah here we go this vest that i like to wear i always struggle with a bra for that i either go braless or you can see the bra straps but this because of the racer back design will be hidden which is just perfect for me so this is what the bottoms are like it's a really nice high rise thong again with that matching cut out detail at the back and this is the seamless range in a medium and this shade in particular is called oatmeal it's really really pretty they do also have cream mink and olive which to be honest with you i buy all of them and the original price of this set is 45 pounds you can get it for now just 18 pounds which is amazing the bra size is a size from extra small up to extra large and the bottoms are extra small up to extra extra large they are all the sets that i've recently picked up from lounge so i'll leave the link in the description box below sale is now on so enjoy let me know what you get your hands on and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video so the sun's come out as you can tell clear blue skies we've decided really randomly well tom has decided and i've just kind of tagged along to have a little round of golf dog's been walked he's well rested so he needs to sleep he's been fed so i thought i'll come with you for the ride i might just walk around today and have a shot or two am i not allowed to say that And then maybe next time play but to be honest with you i'm kind of just excited to get out get a bit of fresh air enjoy the sunshine and watch tommy play golf and see how he is 
I'm going to be your caddy. You have to carry the bag then. I know. You'll get some fair luck to the golf course while walking around and carrying my own bag. <laughs> really? In this gear as well, I'm like in a hoodie. I'm definitely going to be judged. Wow, look at that sun. Ooh. Definitely going to be judged by all the golfers. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Oh, well, I might just hide until you tee off and then I can just kind of tag along. I did already call up and ask if it's dog friendly the other day when we were going to go. And they said no. I don't think many golf courses are dog friendly where you can... But I suppose if they're on the lead and they're right with you, mind you if they do the business. I see people walking dogs on the lead. I know, exactly. That's what I mean. Usually, like, dog walkers, not even playing golf, will cross a golf course. So I might suss it out because when I did call up and say, um, are dogs allowed around with you? He went, not really, no not supposed to be now so I'm gonna judge it today if there's any dogs there I think we should just sneak Barney on because he'd love it even if we had a buggy he'd just sit and watch wouldn't he he just likes being outside he would he'd love it he'd rather that than be sat at home he'd rather just sit and watch like when we go out for restaurants and cafes and stuff he just sits there he's, he's chilled out well that's a okay he's not a chilled out puppy He's chilled out in those scenarios. Are they proper golfing shoes? I didn't even know you owned them. All right. So you're giving him another test run. Snazzy. They look like um, old school plimp soles. <laughs> this is what you call all the gear. No idea. <laughs> Mine are pink, so I can't talk. <laughs> So I may not be caddy carrying the bags, but I am going to keep score. So we may add a few extra points on there. Hole one, Rick McIver's pull, par three. Let's do this. Yellow. 150, oh are you yellow? Yes, yellow from there. 131 yards. So we've got to get over there where someone's just potted his, potted? <laughs> That's snooker. We've got to get over that stream though. See, if I was playing, I'd just skim it along the floor and probably end up straight in that. Like this. In this 14, so it's one of the easier holes on the course. It's par three. If in doubt, seven out, I reckon. Just having a practice. Woohoo! What are you using? A wedge. A wedge? <laughs> right on top. Can you see it? Oh God, this is so exciting. <laughs> Look how close to the tee he got on his first hole. See, this is my least favourite kind of a shot. I just have to get the putter out, I think. Might be right, Oh, yeah, I'm usually. Oh! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> just get the putter out. <laughs> Because we're not going to lose it. You're not going to lose it, it's just not going to go for it. I might hit him. Nowhere near him. Bearing in mind these aren't my clubs. Come on. They're a bit big. Oh my god. T is there, ball's there. If you go in line with the T, there's a tree. It's not raining, it's actually still sunny. It's very windy. So my hood's up, blocking my, protecting my ears. Yeah. Just talking to vlog. Are you just start doing these again? Start doing what? Yeah. Vlogs? Is vlogmas coming up? No, I'm just doing a few here and there, you know. Tom's like, oh, not the camera again. So I'm just taking a few. We're at Withington Golf Club, by the way. If anyone's local to South Manchester. This is not the most ideal shot. Making progress. Oh, <laughs> dear. Well, at least you're in line to be able to get the flag, which is through there. I mean, you've got a lot of trees to get through. Try. Yeah, but you go quite high, so you're gonna just hit the leaves. Right, I can come down on it. But then there's that massive bank in front. I'd aim for that sand pit, sand, whatever it's called, bunker. 
That one on the left. Yeah. And then we are on hole 12. That'll do. Feeling chilly. Considering this is the most least festive thing to do, and this is a festive vlog, preparing for Christmas. <laughs> Look at him, preparing to hit his putt. Uh, we're on 12 currently. We're about to go on to 13. And lucky for some, we actually both like the number 13. I'm enjoying being out in the crisp, cold air. However, I am very much looking forward to. I saw that. It's at least three putts. I'm very much looking forward to maybe a Chinese tonight. I think it's on the Nice hot chocolate. Ooh, nice. And puppy cuddles, obviously. Not bad. And we're back to this rascal playing with his gross IKEA football. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Get it. So, what's been somewhat of a clear out? In fact, I will show you what I've done so far, although I don't know if I had a good before. But, so this might look awful, but this is the after of the old conservatory. We've sorted out all of these as stuff that we're keeping. We've filled up a skip, an entire skip, of pretty much everything in the basement, to be honest with you. It was all damp. A load of stuff that we had down there was non-valuables and stuff that we didn't really miss. Still got some bits to sort through down there that we might end up keeping and just needing to clean because it's just gross, it's gross down there. I mean, I basically cried this afternoon when Tom driving me down there and all them spiders, it's like doing a bush took a trial in our basement. Anyway, can't wait for the day that it's actually all like plastered and everything. That would be amazing. So yeah, we've kind of sorted things out whereby all of this stuff is things like housey bits that I like that maybe are for like the future kitchen or once we've renovated downstairs, there's no point getting stuff out to decorate a front room that is already full of just I don't want too much clutter essentially so I'm kind of keeping things away nice there's a couple of our festive -y candles in there from the white company that I've ordered so I've kept them at reaching a distance because I might put them up in my filming room and then also in the living room once we have eventually put the tree up this week I've just been doing this off camera because honestly it's just been as and when I've had a spare minute, I've been able to do that. There's a lot in there that Tom needs to go through as well. This back room, which was our filming room, filming room, which was our temporary bedroom, is now full of stuff for like gift guides and Christmas presents. There's a couple of like wash bags there. They're all like my pajamas that need sorting out. But I think for this evening, we have Chinese en route what a day and we've gone for quite a big order because that's the only thing with chinese when you order for two people <laughs> two people just in case you didn't know how many two was when you order for two people it's like the whole fun of a chinese is the amount of variety um but when it's just two of you oh, there we go we have light oh and it smells so good in here got the white company fireside reed diffuser in here and honestly it smells amazing so yeah, with us getting Chinese, it's usually obviously just the two meals for the two of us and not much variety, but this time we've got 12,000 steps in the bag from playing that round of golf. So I decided let's treat ourselves. We've got some seaweed coming, we've got some prawn toast in there, we've got chips and we've got rice. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm just gonna get comfy. I think I'm gonna put on my new lounge set and also take off my makeup. Hopefully then, timing wise, we'll get our Chinese through the door or knock on the door because it doesn't get posted through the door. Okay, into my comfies. I'm actually in my lounge dressing gown, which I got, I think I got this last, last year because I remember having it 
throughout winter and everything. So, oh, this is new. I need to find a spot for you to sit. I might just have to kneel, <laughs> crouch down to do this because this is the first time I'm filming in my bathroom. So I, to remove my makeup, I'm just gonna take a couple of cotton pads from my little White Company dupe. You may remember from my White Company video, dupe video that I did. Just take a couple of cotton pads and then my micellar water. I just use this to remove all my makeup. So I usually go in with a, quite a couple, quite a couple. There's nothing better take your makeup off at the end of the day right <laughs> it smells lovely so i don't have my full like skincare range up here i need to sort through that as well yeah that's another thing that we need to sort i've literally brought up like my essentials it almost feels like we're moving house and starting again because we're having to like unpack boxes and things. See, this is where ordinarily I go in with a double cleanse, but I think it's downstairs. I think what I'll do is I'll just splash my face and then just moisturize, and that'll do for tonight. And then for moisturizer, how are my little clips coming out? Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, good old trusty face. I'm just gonna pop this on quite liberally because I've been in that cold, fresh air. My skin does feel quite dry. I'm trying to convince Tom, may have won, after the football's finished, to watch a scary movie. It's that kind of time of the year, obviously, autumn, Halloween, into Christmas, getting cozy, cozy nights in. But I feel like it's the only time that I can convince him to watch a scary movie with me, so. Although having said that, there's loads of really good looking, you know, the BBC dramas and ITV dramas and everything. If you've watched any good ones recently, let me know. Let's head on downstairs and let's wait for this Chinese. Oh my God. That is quality. <laughs> I didn't get that on camera. We scored. United scored. And I've scored with this beige meal. Obviously a bit of balance. We've got a bit of greenery in there. is a new day as promised at the start of this video thought i need to plan in a trip to some kind of christmasy festive shopping garden center type place now i've actually come to a place called housing units which i've only ever been to once before to an event recently and they did give us a couple of vouchers 40 pounds i have to spend within today's little shopping trip so i thought I, I remember them having the Christmas stuff out when we went and they'd only just put it out so hoping there's still plenty of stuff left to shop. I'm thinking maybe a new decoration or two. They had some really nice stockings um, but yeah they've got like loads of Yankee candles as well. Christmas 
so I did go for the stockings. Now, I know they're kind of similar to the Home Bargains ones, but I do think they're a little bit bigger and they do feel very, very soft. So these ones are $14.99. So I also think these make quite good gift bags. In a way, it's like a little bit different to a gift bag, giving someone their present in a stocking that they can keep, I think is a good idea as well. So I stocked up on a couple of those and then I got a Christmas card for my mum and dad. <laughs> and then also got two baubles. Now this year I'm thinking along the lines of, um, well, I kind of want my tree to be fairly minimal. We've got a new tree this year and I want it to be like not loads of ribbon, not loads of tinsel, not loads of massive baubles, not lo loads of bows or poinsettias or glam. I kind of want it to be like an antique glam, mismatch, not mismatching colour, obviously neutral. I mean, one day in the future, I'm definitely going to have a bright red and gold and green Christmas tree but for now we're sticking with the neutrals and so I'm kind of wanting every bauble to be different so rather than buying packs of baubles I've kind of been buying just like one-off baubles and I'm going to go through my decorations from last year and just maybe stick to like one of each and they're all kind of mirrored champagne gold kind of antique bronze brass that kind of thing so i saw two baubles in there which i thought stood out to me in terms of keeping in line with that theme so firstly this one at only two pound fifty they had baubles from like i want to say like one pound fifty up to five pounds and this one is antique to metal kind of finish and i loved that this one had a velvet ribbon the beading i think is what makes it that kind of antique finish and the like hammered metal so i love that one for two pound fifty and then the other one that i got again a quite a small bauble and that's another thing that i like on a tree is like not going huge on baubles but like the standard baubles but then also some small ones and then also some different Different shaped ones so this one is I mean I have been on the white company for inspo clearly and this one is the stereotypical white company heart it is a little heart just a plain glass heart with a sort of beaded edging on both sides so that is everything that I got I am just gonna knit via Costco and route back because it is literally like five minutes from here and then go home and i think tom was gonna go out for a meeting tonight but now he doesn't have to so maybe we can have some nice yummy dinner together i can get on with a little bit more clearing and organizing but i think i'm gonna save the majority of that because i've got all the flat pack furniture building and everything for thursday's vlog the kind of more house updates vlog it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay There we go. Let the lights on. I'm sat in the dark because Tom's upstairs in the office, isn't he? Preparation of getting the Christmas tree up. We have removed the table that was there, left by the previous owners. It's actually just in the back room, which was our temporary bedroom downstairs. And we're kind of just, we've got it set up in there for storage more than anything. And uh, yeah, so it's created this nice big space here for the Christmas tree. But once the Christmas tree is down, I think we're gonna move Barney's bed to the window there, cause then it kind of sits nicely in that space. Then it would just kind of clear up this space here, which is currently your humble abode, isn't it? Yeah. Now I have also got myself and daddy a treat. <laughs> cause here's what I said, <gasps> treat. <laughs> We'll get you your dinner now. I mean, if you're a Costco goer, you know. If you know, you know. And yes, 
I couldn't resist having a piece en route home. It was rush hour traffic, so I delved into that. I also got uh, some white ribbon. This was quite good value. I think it was about five pounds for a huge ribbon. And I thought with brown craft paper at Christmas, it'll look nice and um, simple. And also obviously all year round, you can use white ribbon. Then I also saw this pull apart cheese bread for another day rainy day <laughs> brie cheese emmental and mozzarella looks delicious i love a kind of tear and share cheese bread like that anything beige goes in my belly i did get these treats for barney boo which maybe you can have one of those later and i might actually close off the video here because it's ended up being a bit of a long one longer than i thought this is just going to be a quick vlog i thought but it's longer than i thought but obviously thursday's video is going to be a lengthy vlog with it being all house updates and then sundays decorate for christmas with me which is so exciting uh but yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog thank you once again to lounge underwear for very kindly sponsoring today's video barney says thanks uh, yeah thanks to lounge obviously it's a brand that i have shopped and loved for ages now and definitely take advantage of the sales whilst they're on i will be i think they're great gift ideas as well so yeah thank you for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon on thursday bye guys oh you're saying goodbye too say bye